In this video, we are going to be looking at the SQL basics. Uh, the item here is going to be row number, and we're going to be looking at using row number. Now, some of the languages, SQL languages, may not support what's shown in the demo. And in this video, I'm going to be doing a direct demo. So I'm going to move my mic out of the way, and we are going to uh, start uh, with demo here. All right. <clears throat> So we're going to select it from a different table this time. We're not going to be using table one or table two. We're going to be selecting from table six. And we see that we have seven values. And there's a reason why I'm using a table with uh, just seven values. I want it to be shown on the screen, but you can use it with more values if you want to do a test. So <clears throat> one of the things that we can do with uh, row number, and I'm going to first of all select the calc uh, val here from table six. And then I'm going to remove this up here is that we can add a row value that we see on these uh, these row values. We have row one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can actually add the same thing as a column here. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do row number, and then we're gonna do over, and we're gonna do order by, <clears throat> and we're gonna do calc val. Now, if there were other columns in the table, then we would we would want to order it by the columns that we would want. So I'm saying calc val here, but let's say we were doing table one. If I wanted to order it by ID, I could order it by ID. If I wanted to order it by letter, I could do that. Or val, I could order it by that as well. So if we think about the, the previous tables that we've been working with, we can order by those things, or we can order by multiple columns. And so we'll look at a second. Actually, let's go ahead and do that right now. What happens when we order by multiple columns from, let's say, table one? <clears throat> And we're going to do, uh, yeah, let's actually do select star because if I recall, everything is ordered perfectly. Yes, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and intentionally mess everything up, <clears throat> which is the fun of doing this, okay? Fun of live coding here. And we'll do, we'll actually do five, but we'll do A, and then we'll do, uh, we'll throw it off even more by doing union one into table one. So we'll add a value here. Okay, now when we select star from table one, <clears throat> we see that we have this fifth value, but we see we have A and we have uni1. So let's do uh, select star and, uh, I like to just do it this way, but you don't have to do it this way, uh, row number, and we'll do over, and let's order it, first of all, by letter, then let's order it by val, and then let's order it by ID, and let's call this uh, uh, fun, okay. And we'll see what happens here. And we'll see how <clears throat> ordering it uh, is different. So we have fun, we see this is one, right? Hmm? Uh, because, well, when we think about that, and we think about this, uni two comes after uni one. They're both A and A. This is one, which is before this, but this comes last, right? It first uh, focuses on A and A, which is a tie. But then when it looks at uni one and uni two, well, uni one is gonna win, right? And then finally, it looks at this. So that's why it's ordered that way. So that was the reason why I misordered it in, in that scenario there. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and, uh, all right, get rid of that. <clears throat> so going back to our table here, uh, we'll see a couple of things. Um, and that is, it, it basically replicates this. So, and we're gonna be just be using this column for simplicity cases. Um, one of the other things that we'll see here, and I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste this, is that if we do this, which is the default, and if we do um, this, we're, reordering it, right? Uh, we're going the opposite direction. And so we'll see um, if we do calc uh, ascending and we do calc. So let's just do uh, default. That's going to say this default order. And let's do ascend order. And then let's do descending order. Let's just call the column names. All right. <clears throat> and we see we have the default order. We have the ascending order. And, and then we have uh, the descending order. And some of you may wonder, why did it uh, flip it around? Uh, and it's because of this right here. If I get rid of this, then um, it goes back to that. But as we see when we do the row number order by descending, it orders it by descending. Now, of course, I can change that by saying order by, uh, what is it, uh, calc val ascending. And now <clears throat> it will go the other way around. But it's because of, of this right here I throw into the mix. Now, because this has seven values, so we see we have the, uh, the ascending and we have the descending. Because this has seven values, we can actually use this. Now, there are new functionalities, but in the past, this was one of the ways that you could calculate median. Because if we notice in the case of if we were trying to get median, the median value is four, right? So the median value essentially is where 
the ascending order equals the descending order, right? And I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of this just so that it's clear that we have ascending and descending. So I will execute this. But we see that's what that median value is, right? Uh, when we order it, once again, it does the flip around uh, because there is. Now, that's not the case in, in the, uh, what is it, in the case of, let's say, if there's even a number of values. But if we do, uh, we call this width get median as, and this is one way in the past that you could get median. There's other ways to do it now. It's a lot easier. But um, we used to do it this way, get median, and we do uh, where ascending order equals uh, descending order. And when we do this, uh, we will return with 17, and we see it's 4 and 4. So those are just some examples with row number. Uh, we can uh, order it up. We can order it down. As we see, we can also, if we have multiple columns, and we have that example where going back to uh, uh, table one, where we want to start with one order and not another, then we can order it in that in the way in which it should appear. So in that case, we wanted to order it uh, by letter first, but there was a tie. Then it's going to take the next order, and we see that uni uh, one was higher than uni two in that val, and then id. And so we want to think about the order when we're using that uh, order by operator. And then, of course, in the upcoming weeks, we're going to be looking at other things that we can do with row number.